So I'm just sorry, what attracted you to uh, to the Chargers and Ravens? Um, I just thought it was a great opportunity. Uh, the coaching staff that they have been playing together is incredible. Um, I'm real familiar with Coach uh, Roman and his game. And I just wanted to be part of it because I already know what his mindset it is. And same with Coach Harbaugh, I already know what his mindset it is, um, being a physical team. And I just wanted to be a part of that. What do you recall about your time with, with Greg in Baltimore? Oh, uh, that he want to run a ball and, and then play off of that. Um, got a lot of big, we was very successful with his offense over in, in Baltimore. And, um, and I, I, I love this game, the way he's came everything up and just the whole mindset, the physicality and all that. How much carryover is there scheme-wise from what you guys were doing in Baltimore with Greg right, to what he's put together here just from the early stages of, of install here in the first couple of weeks? Yeah, so um, basically football is football. It's kind of like similar everywhere, but um, over, I, I'll say that um, he, he has added a lot of new stuff and a lot of, some wrinkles in there, but it's the basic is is still what what what, what um we used to do in Baltimore. So yes, we heard a lot in the last few months about the running game. Uh, this team has a pretty good throwing quarterback. Right. How is that going to work? Like, what uh, what do you think that might look like? I think it's going to be great. Um, uh, I think that coach, he's for sure going to make a lot of adjustments to to his game as well. I mean, to Herbert's game. So. Uh, that would be great. Uh, seeing him on tape, I'm really excited to play with him and um, just see see what he does. But, yeah. Uh, you mentioned sharing the same mindset with Jim Harbaugh with kind of those early interactions been like between the two. Um, I see a lot of similarities with his brother. I don't know if he's a big fan of, of that, of me saying that, but I see a lot of similarities. Um, he's he's kind of like a player coach. Um, you're real comfortable around him. It's, it's coaches that sometimes you – kind of see them around the hallway and you just walk the other way. But been real comfortable with around him and um and I know his mentality. He's, he wants to win. He's been he's been very like uh into everything, you know. Uh he's been in the meeting rooms with us. He's not he hasn't been staying away from the team. So he's in the weight room with us. So it's been great to just see his face around. Yes, it familiarity you talked about the, the system. So how important is that for somebody like you when you're switching teams mm -hmm. to have that comfort just walking it makes it it makes it a lot more easier to adjust because you you you, you kind of know what to expect um especially with it, the terminology it makes it kind of easier for you to memorize and, and, and everything so it's, it's kind of it helps my transition be smoother in terms of your play style why do you feel like you're a good fit for for how greg likes to play in terms of the physicality and, and you know the intention behind running the ball i think um just he wants he wants a back to run down fit, uh, downhill. A lot of his schemes, kind of, is it's, 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 it's that's what it, it um it brings, you know, uh, downhill game, running the ball, um, maybe some some traps and uh, working some traps in there. But he wants to see the bats go downhill, and I think that's that's part of my game. Have you always been that way, or did you sort of learn to be that when you first got connected with Greg in, in Baltimore early on in your career? What works is um, I think that's what has been working for me a lot. Uh, just um, getting those 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 tough yardage. Um, it's what my team has been asking for me too. And I, not to say that I can't do other stuff, but just I'm just doing what my team uh, the, the team has asked for. Me. Yeah. The, the fans of this team are you, you have gotten used to watching Austin Eckler. Mm -hmm. Do you guys do you guys compare at all? Like, can you compare your two games at all, or is this this, um, will this be completely different for Charger? Well, I don't think that's what I'm being asked to do. Um, I don't think I'm being asked to do what what Eckler came in here. I know he was a he was a real, uh, good runner, but what um, draw attention to his game was uh, his ability to catch out of the backfield. I'm not saying that I can't, and I haven't done that um, sometimes, but uh, it's not what I'm known for, you know. So I don't think that we're we're similar in that way, but. I'm, I'm I'm excited to make plays for this team. I'm here for a reason, and I and I know I'll be a big part of this our mm -hmm. success. You know. That's all good. All right, let's open up a few more podcasters. Go ahead, Daniel. Hey, I mean, you said talk about the receiving game. The last year was probably your most most productive year as a receiver. Is that something that you want to keep working on? Or something you take pride in? Hey, I can actually do a little bit more of this. We just haven't really seen it yet. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, I think um, when given the opportunity, when I'm uh, trusted to, to, to be in there on those passing downs, I think I, I, I'll produce and I have proven that.
Also, I mean, one of the things that has been brought up specifically by Joe Ortiz is like, this is our Bill Calback, this is that guy. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you to be brought in by an organization and just have them tell you like, you're the guy, you're the short yardage, mm -hmm. you're going to be the guy that's going to get us those tough yards that maybe have been tough for them in the past? Um, I feel like that's what um, I, I have been able to, to do my, um, my years in the league. And um, so I'm, I'm built for it and I'm ready for the opportunity, you know. One of the things for Justin Herbert especially has been kind of keeping him protected, keeping him upright, but also getting those tough yards and allowing him to move the chains. Like, talk to us about just like what you're expecting yourself to be to this offense, both as a blocker for Justin Herbert, but as well as getting those tough yards. Like, what should Chargers fans expect to get now, which is what they haven't seen in the past, maybe? Uh, whatever, whatever I'm asked to do. Um, Justin, Justin's our quarterback. He's a big part of our offense. He's, uh, if I'm if I'm in there, he'll he'll be protected, you know. Um, but whatever the coaches ask me to do, I'm, I'm ready for. I'm ready to do that. Um, what I think it's going to look like, I think it's going to be, uh, um, we're going to be a physical team. Um, I think that's what, what what the guys that he has been bringing in um, as of lately. That's what that's what everybody has in common, you know. Uh, some bigger guys, some phys more physical guys. So I think just going off, just going off um, what what's the last couple of weeks have been um, bringing, I'll say that we're going to be physical. What's that been like the difference between here now versus maybe when you were in Baltimore? What is kind of that mindset with Ben Herbert or Greg Rowan or Jim Harbaugh now versus what you've seen in the past? I don't understand. Like when you're in the locker room or when you're doing training, when you're going through strength conditioning, have you noticed any changes to this regime versus what you've had previously other since? Uh, besides being besides the colors, I, I'll say that um, it's pretty much the same. Um, the guy I've been like caught off guard by how how much. Um, hard work these guys put in, you know, even the quarterback, he's out there leading sets, you know, so it's, it's, it's caught me off guard of just how determined and um, not, not saying that I didn't expect it, but it's definitely way more than I expected, you know, of how determined the team is and um, and their work, their work uh, <clears throat> and how much work they put in, pretty much. Anybody else? Yeah, as a, as a Charger fan, uh, LT is who we think of when you think of the running back position. Yeah. Um, one, have you had an opportunity to meet him yet? And two, what part of your game do you think, as fans, as we watch, is there anything of that LT in, in your, your play style? Uh, first of all, big fan of LT growing up. Um, that's When I think of the Chargers, that's, that's the first thing that comes to mind. So uh, I'll say stiff arm. You know, he had a lot of big stiff arms, and I'll say that that's a part of my game. You know. Chris? Yes, just with the, so many players and coaches from Baltimore coming here, does it? Mm -hmm. Did that kind of also ease the transition? Does it kind of feel like you're still there in a way? Obviously, you know, different coast, but there's so many people from there that are here. Did it, that also help make it easier for you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It definitely made it easier trans transitioning and also my decision to come here because I already knew what to expect, you know. Were there some of those people who came here? Were any of those people you were particularly close with in Baltimore? That are player. Now, player, coach, uh, Hayden Hurst. Um, uh, got an opportunity to be on the, the same side of the ball with him. Uh, we came in together our rookie year, so I'm real familiar with him. Coach Greg, you know, uh, I feel like he he has uh, shown that he has tremendous trust in me, and that was something that just you want to go somewhere where you feel like okay, you're gonna get an opportunity. So that was big for me too.